Hello everybody, welcome back to Cards by the Hill. My name is Jane Hill. So this one is going to be a Valentine's gift, which is going to be a tree. Okay. So you're going to need a polystyrene solid sphere ball, 10 centimetres. A paper straw, which I showed you in another project. And that's just going to stick up inside the ball. So let's make a hole. And that's going up inside the ball like that to make our tree. Hot glue's warming up now. Okay, so we're going to cover the ball in small pink flowers. And these come packaged on wire. But we don't need none of the wire, so we're going to snip them all off and then add them to the ball. I'll probably do this, speed it up so you don't have to uh, endure it for too long.
our tree. It's had overnight to completely dry now. There's our stalk. And I'm going to glue that. I believe it was around six glue sticks, about that size. And it was about 60, 60 roses. Okay. Just to give you an idea of how much you might need. All right. I've got a little flower pot and a tray and that's what it's going to be sitting in and then we're gonna decorate it with some embellishments I purchased recently which I had in a haul these are Valentine assortment hugs and kisses dress it up if you remember it says it's got six pieces in a pack but it's actually got I don't know how many it's definitely not six so we're going to use those that's glued that's good we're going to decorate the stem with some ribbon let me get some bits and pieces okay so let's get this little pack open So we've got a couple of hearts, boyfriend, forever, love, my, I love you. We've got a few words, some flowers, XOXO, and the word love. So that's what we've got to work with. So what I'm going to do... is attach some bits all over the flowers to give it a valentine's look and we might even add some some pink feathers or some red ones just to stick out the top Add a little bit extra to it. Right, so let's wrap, wrap ribbon around the stalk. Well, I've got this ribbon here. So it's a cord fashion ribbon. Probably bought it years ago. It's got hearts on it in pink, which is perfect. So I think we're going to just follow that around the stalk. And it's quite thick, so it will take up quite a lot of the stalk. And now we're looking for something like that. Okay, so let me glue that on and I'll be back. Okay, so the ribbon's done on the stem. And I've got these pearl beads. They just say bridal on them. I think I bought them from Amazon. And we're going to do a couple of layers around the flowers just going over the top in and out like that and they can be easily secured in between the flowers when you find a little hole so we'll probably just do we'll see how one looks and then we'll, we might do a second one I'm gonna hot glue them in And then we'll continue round just creating a little wavy pattern as we go. I would hot glue them just to make sure they don't go anywhere. now if you haven't got pearls you can use whatever you've got 
doesn't have to be pearls. Try and get them as even as you can. And that's not easy with something like this. And I am no professional at doing this sort of thing. Just thought it might look pretty. Now I'm not sure how many rows we'll do. You could do as many as you'd like, but I don't want to take away from the embellishments that are going on by disguising them with pearls. So, that's one row. Yes, I burn my hands all the time with hot glue. So there's the pearls around the base. And you could give this to anybody you wanted to, but I thought we'd make it for Galentine. Okay, so that's the bottom one. Let's just have a look and see where we go with another layer. I just keep one layer because we don't want to take away from all the embellishments that are going on. So, okay, so we're going to put a heart in at the top there. And it's better to hot glue these things so you know they're stuck. They're not going to go anywhere. We're going to put a flower on and you could place these things anywhere but it's not a really difficult projects you know you can do as much to it or as little to it as you like and I like making these trees for all occasions Okay, we'll stick another one around the back there. And we've got love. I'm hot gluing them, but if you haven't got hot glue, I think they'd work with Uh, nouveau just as well right we're not going to use my boyfriend forever because we don't really need those we've got another three left there We've got another XOXO. We've got a big flower. And we've got love. Stringy glue. There we are, there it is so far. Now I'll probably find some more bits to stick on it in a second. But that's where we are with it so far. Okay, so let's add some more embellishments. I've got two trays from my uh, drawers out to see what we can find in here. I've got a selection of hearts and there's a little swan. We'll have a swan on there and roses. Uh, 
it's only got light pink on there so i'm going to really keep to light pink and red got a little gem now there's a little flower I've just an assortment of things. Teddy. And then I've got my pot back out that I used on the card. We can add some bits from that. Different coloured roses. Some hearts. I think that's enough now. But before we do any of that, I want to add a couple of feathers. Because I thought I'd add a little bit of something to it. I know they're not sparkly, but just thought while we're doing this, Add some feathers now. I don't know where these came from, these haven't got a name on them, but I think it's the pound shop because, as you can see, they're half of them are stuck to the staples. So, just gonna get a couple out, although they do look a little bit ratty. These ones, not like the John Lewis ones, yeah. These are, as you can see. These look like the uh, the duck had been caught in a lawnmower or something. Um, okay, so not for this project. Right, let's go back to the John Noose ones and add some red ones instead then. Because they're better quality, as you can see. And just going to poke them out the top of the tree. In one of the holes. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so let's continue gluing our embellishments. Uh, we've got a flower. Put that down. We've got a rose. And you can add as much as you like. There's no set rules. You can do as many different colours as you like as well. If you want to do some different colours of flowers, multicoloured flowers, or the person you're making it for is a favourite colour, it's a good idea. So we're getting quite full now. Which is good. Let me just get rid of some of this. Okay, we've got three little bits left. Uh, and I'm just putting them randomly. I'm not kind of doing it in any uniformed way okay let's get rid of some of these threads right so i think we've got as much on it as we're going to get as i said you can add as much or as little as you like you could add chocolates to it if that's your favourite, your friend's favourite things. 
or the person you're making it for that's their favorite things okay so i want a bow on the bottom which is the top of the stalk because we can see the black going into the ball there so i want to get rid of that and we're going to work on the pot in a second before we do i bought these valentine's day sticks in one of the halls and i've just cut the straw in half that it comes on and we're going to stick that in just next to the feathers just pushing it down into the top of the tree there we go now, i think it's got a lot on it now so we just need a bow for the top of that stalk which is fine, find one of those. Now let's work on the pot. Now then, I'm gonna glue the, the pot to the base. And then in the bottom of the pot, I'm going to add a couple of stones just to weight the tree down. You can get them out of your garden, doesn't have to be purchased stones. These were just scatter me decorative pebbles. Uh, just says living on the on the pack. And then we're gonna add polystyrene ball. So go around with some hot glue and get that fixed in. Okay, so we're now we've got a bit of weight to hold the tree. Then in the middle of that, you're going to make a hole for your tree to go in. It doesn't matter if you hit the stones, just as long as the tree has got enough room to get in. Okay, so in he goes. And then we'll secure him with hot glue. And then around that, I'm going to add some reindeer moss, which is pink from Pro Flora. You could probably buy it online. I've had that quite a while. And then we're just gonna go around the hot glue and fill fill the uh, ball up with some reindeer moss. That's quite handy to have in your stash if you can get hold of some to cover up things. You don't have to use reindeer moss, you can use beads or diamantes or uh, whatever you've got really. I don't know if you can see it okay, but that's what I'm working on. Okay, so I've got another tray of some wooden shapes. So I'm going to put a white heart at the bottom of the tree. just to finish it off and I've seen a pink butterfly in here we could have a red one Let's see whether we put that at the top instead of a um, bow so the heart's just going in the bottom like that and you can decorate all the pots you can I mean you know, it's endless with these trees. Let me just get some of this out of the way. I think we'll put the butterfly at the top there. Just to cover up 
the stalk a little bit. There we go. So there's the tree. I know you can't really see it too well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your time. I want to thank you for subscribing if you have done so and for your comments and for your likes. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It means the world to me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.